Access to the internet across the world has fundamentally changed the way people interact, socialize, communicate, work, and share ideas and information. The internet, just as the way the development of the wheel, electricity, the radio, and flight has revolutionized the way people interact, but also from an economic perspective, the way countries grow. More so now than ever is a dynamic link between the internet and economic growth and stability. The internet has allowed individuals, businesses, and governments, large and small, to embrace new ways of doing business and has opened new doors in how consumers search and access goods from around the world. The rise of the BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, and countries like Turkey, Malaysia, Taiwan, and South Korea has been affected by the internet, which has fundamentally changed their economies, promoting globalization instead of isolationism and fostering international trade across countless industries. If the internet was a national economy, it would rank in the world's top five, behind the United States, China, Japan, and India. No surprise because there are over 2 billion internet users worldwide with over 75% of them coming from developed countries in Europe, North America, and Asia. The internet accounts for 21% of GDP growth in the last five years and has created 2.6 jobs for one job lost and it is an important vehicle for capital by allowing the exchange of almost 8 trillion each year in e-commerce. As a testament to how much businesses and users have become dependent on the internet, over two-thirds of businesses in developed countries have a website, and over two billion people have email accounts with Gmail, Yahoo, and Outlook. Even though the internet is only very young, the internet accounts for 6% of GDP in advanced countries because it is a critical element for growth. In the mature developed economies, the internet accounts for 10% of GDP growth over the past 15 years, which is driven by the impact it has had on small and medium enterprises. Several studies have found that for every 10% increase in the people who have internet access, a nation's GDP rises by 1%. The internet's maturity and usage in various countries also correlates with rising living standards and growth in per capita GDP. Over the past 15 years, it has created an increase in real GDP per capita of $500, a startling fact in comparison to the Industrial Revolution, which took 50 years to achieve the same results. The internet also generates a great deal of consumer surplus by connecting consumers across the world for access to more goods and services at a lower cost. For example, the consumer surplus generated by the internet in 2009 was close to $30 billion in the United States. While the internet reaches people around the globe, many emerging nations are taking advantage of this more level playing field and are closing on the digital divide gap with developed economies. Emerging nations are making efforts to promote competition and regulatory liberalization by opening their economies for foreign investment and are reducing trade barriers of foreign goods and services. The internet is very important because it reduces the cost of many domestic and foreign transactions to produce and distribute goods and services, increases management efficiency by allowing companies to better communicate, increases competition by making prices more transparent and broadens potential markets for both sellers and buyers, and finally, increases consumer choice, convenience, and satisfaction. Over this past decade, we have become very reliant on the internet using it from shopping on Amazon, wasting time on Facebook, banking and finance, and so much more. A study by Ericsson found that simply increasing download speeds from 0.5 megabytes to 4 megabytes resulted in a $46 per month increase in household income in Brazil, India, and China. In the end, the internet has completely changed the worldwide economy and how people do business. For example, in Africa, farmers and sailors in Kenya are using the internet and payment methods such as PayPal to allow a smoother exchange of capital and goods and prevent corrupt local officials.
by allowing the exchange of a secure token between a buyer and seller. This ensures that the money changes hands safely. Another example is when a furniture weaver in Malaysia can connect with potential investors in the United States or Mexico by creating a profile on Kiva.org and get loans from around the world so she can continue her business. On website Kickstarter, many small companies use crowdfunding to raise money so they can turn ideas and concepts into a final product. The internet has revolutionized the way people interact. On both a global and local level, it's changed the way we live.